Hello everyone and welcome back to my Realism Overhaul series in Kerbal Space Program 0.90 Beta. In this episode some changes have been made to RP0, our tech tree, real, Realistic Progression 0, and so I need to cover those first. So this is going to be 0.24 of the Realistic Progression 0 tech tree. And probably the most significant change is the fact that we no longer have access to uh, SRBs. And that's probably for the best because I was wantonly misusing them. So if you take a look at our craft list here, uh, you see contains locked or invalid parts is pretty much most of them. Uh, I assume the only ones that aren't are the ones that have uh, no SRBs on them. Let me just check that theory. Yep, no SRBs on this one. So that's the basic idea. Oh, this seems to be some size issue too. I think... Uh, Something has been re resized. Also, why does it seem like all of these are locked? Um, where's Vanguard? Okay, so we don't have SRBs, and this is now a RD58 vacuum engine thing. So we don't have bank. Well, let, let me take a look at the tech tree. Everything seems to be rearranged. So hold on a sec. What what did we in theory get originally? Now that the tech tree has been rearranged, so we would have gotten the era B. Okay, that's fine. At least that's sensible. The next thing we would have gotten in terms of engine power is. Uh, the sergeants. Lots of baby sergeants. We seem to have some parts that we need to purchase now. Oh, this is tiny team Tim booster. Tiny Tim booster. Two hundred twenty thrust. Well, I don't think I would have survived with stuff like this. Let's see. Uh, so suddenly I've got Russian engines. But no Vanguard? I mean, I don't mind the Russian engines. We were sort of lacking those. At least I've got my generic one kill Newton thruster. Well, those, that's much more serious stuff. This is Atlas. This is the RL-10. Wow. Second gen capsules over here. Unresearched requirements. I wonder what those would be. I've finished this tier off already. We've got science. But I don't think we're at the stage where we need the RL-10. That's actually pretty advanced stuff. The hydrogen oxygen stuff. All right. Well, let's see what I can do with this. So we're probably gonna need to unlock a few things. Uh, just a note: the reason I said that we, I was doing wanton misuse of SRBs is first of all we had SRBs with burn times of three minutes and thirty seconds, which I don't think they were able to do back then. We had pretty powerful SRBs, and also we were staging them radially. We were uh, staging them as strap-on SRBs, which. I don't recall them using strap-on SRBs very early on. Um, the strap-on liquid fuel engines were used, but I mean, uh, with the R7 for instance. But uh, yeah, SRBs weren't in a high state of development that early on. Um, this is expensive stuff, but I guess, I mean, when you take a look at our engine situation, all we've got now is the Aero B and the generic one kiln Newton thruster. I don't even have the 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 little uh, AJ-10 stage. Was it AJ-10? Anyway, the definitely an AJ stage. Um, that's concerning. That's a very important engine. I'm definitely not gonna be upgrading some of my other installs to uh, RP uh, 0 0.24 because I need those replica engines for other things. There are other ways to get the R7's engines. 
Huh, <sighs> okay, well, this is very powerful though. I'll get the R7 engines as well. I'll think about that. Uh, in the course of building my new rocket, I'm going to... I'll consider whether to unlock these. Alright, so let me try and create the best rocket I can given the materials I have at hand, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, I think I've got something here. So the goal of this mission is going to be to send this probe up and bring it back down. So of course we needed a heat shield and parachutes, uh, at the least. Uh, we could do with quite a lot of other things, but uh, at least uh, parachutes and heat shield. Now that caused a few problems because uh, apparently this procedural heat shield is not RP0 compatible, so I couldn't use the procedural heat shield. Had to unlock at great cost. Uh, this uh, heat shield 0.625 meters and so it just barely fits under there. Uh, the procedural heat shield was limited actually. The lowest uh, size it could go to was one meter. Uh, I had unlocked it obviously and tried it out but then I noticed that was non RP0. So that's interesting. I hope it becomes compatible at some point because limiting to these sizes could be Oh, there's, there's a 1 meter one here. But uh, anyway, the 0.625 obviously fits underneath this, which is, of course, the marvelous... Uh, okay, it doesn't finish that line. Okay, marvelous miniature mystery goo. Okay, so that's going to be our main experiment that we want to bring back down. And it says RP0, yes, even though it's uh, realism overhaul, no. Uh, these uh, parachutes are real shoot compatible. So... Uh, We've got the real shoot thing here. Hopefully that's enough parachute for us. We've got the normal trident method of antennas with the explorer probe at the top. This is MMH N204 with MMH N204 thrusters. And we've got those all the way down. There's an Araby here. Araby 150 with the appropriate fuels. And then here we have six Arabies because it's not like I have too many engine choices at this point. Uh, so Arabies will be fine, except these are going to be loud, I think. Uh, this stage is going to be a loud stage. And uh, rather than unlocking these at fair expense, I mean, they're, it's expensive to unlock these, uh, I, I just went with the, uh, with the LR79, uh, I guess it is a 79. No, it's an... Uh, I don't even know why they bother putting LR79 when the base version is LR89 and A3. And I don't think there is an LR79 variant. So LR89 and A3 it is. And that will be our booster. So that's a stage that runs for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And then, well, as you can see, the Delta V works out okay. We've got some some RCS fuel at the top if we need to round out our orbit after that and then of course deorbit it. Um, tried out some of the stuff obviously I unlocked the Titan booster um, didn't, didn't seem to be very useful at this point not if I want to actually control things which I do so yeah that's the basic situation right now and I'm going to pack this up and we will see how it works. Uh, 2714, pretty hefty, but this is the first time we're trying to bring an experiment back down, so I guess that's fair. Uh, we're not using the one kilonewton thruster, you notice, because this is a lot heavier now and it's not worthwhile. Okay, well that's strange. After adding all the fairings inside the VAB, it said 9337, which I was willing to go with. And now it says 9,237. I mean, as if a uh, 200 meter per second hit just by adding fairings wasn't bad enough. Uh, now it's telling me it's 100 meters per second less than that. I think I'm just going to bring this back and extend the bomb stage. Okay, I was willing to fly with 9,337, so I went with that. And so 8 more seconds of burn time on the, on the base stage. And just because our margins are a little bit tight, I'm going to light the base stage at the same time as releasing the clamps. Okay, well we've got a lot of stuff going on. Thrall is up, SAS is on. Uh, oh, uh, let's make sure the Explorer probe is activated right at the start. Gotta make sure about that.
Okay, it's operational. All right. So now we can go. First attempt to launch something and bring it back. Technically, we don't have to go all the way to orbit. Uh, it's just a science day from space around Kerbin for our contract. But, you know, we might as well try this. Not a huge thrust to weight ratio on this, but it gets a little bit higher as it goes along. I really could have done a lot more with the Vanguard engine, but. You know, I guess it's alright that we move on to this one. Oh, the shoot deployment unsafe message. Why am I getting that suddenly? Didn't I upgrade Delhi Reentry to... Oh, no, no, this is the first time... Uh, I've got so many installs, I'm a little bit confused. Yeah, this is the first time we've put parachutes on something, that's why. I need to upgrade uh, Delhi Reentry to a version that gives me the option to turn that off. But I guess we'll deal with it here. Okay, we're above 25 kilometers. I'm, I'm... Oh, why is our parachute overheating? It's in the fairing. Parachute's in the fairing. Don't overheat. This is bad. Huh. That's very bad. I mean, uh, they gotta be protected properly on the way down then? And we weren't even at a very low angle. But look, it's overheating, it's in the fairing. When was this a thing? Okay, going goes good so far, except for that little bit of overheating on the parachute. I'll tentatively go to 25, but I might have to pitch up again. Okay, set. Okay, light. And we need RCS here. Let's drop the fairings so it doesn't look too weird. Okay, uh, hypergolic consumption is nominal. We're not using much of the MMH N204. We really don't need too high in orbit. I think we can pitch down even more now. Time to apoapsis this is just fine. Perhaps a heading of 92 now. Probe's technically in space now. Obviously not. <laughs> just double checking that nothing's changed about that. Should have action group the experiments. I've done that one already. But I guess while I'm waiting, I can do a mystery goo here. Okay, so we gotta keep that data and try to recover it. We could probably carry less MMH N204 in this stage. Is it consuming any from the others? It's consuming some from the top for some reason. So I gotta transfer up. Oh, I can't transfer. I haven't gotten that technology yet. Oh well. Okay, and and here we go for orbit. Still a go. Uh, I, I should have turned off these tanks to begin with, but let me do that now. So yeah, totally unfazed by the loss of uh, SRVs, though I could easily unlock them again, that's no problem. Uh, a little bit phased by the loss of the Vanguard and the AJ-10. Yeah, I was still looking forward to using those. But apparently uh, nothing can stop me from clustering AeroVs.
Okay, Apple House is getting a little bit wild here. Oh, boy. Okay, well, that's the end of that burn. I'm shutting that off. Let's get the RCS off. Well, that's our orbit. 421, 421 by 173. Could be worse. Um, still got a lot of MMHN 204. We had a lot left over in the base stage as well. But, uh, well, can't transfer it. Can't do anything with it. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Uh, that's off. Separate. All right. So our probe is free. Still in communication. Okay, so uh, we'll we'll just uh, well we've got into orbit, but we're gonna plot for bringing it back down. We'll want to bring it down in the Atlantic if possible. I think 60 will definitely bring it back down. So I'm going to aim for 61, but I want it to be. I want the periapsis to be close to the west side of the. The, yeah, the west side of the Atlantic. Okay, well, that'll suit me. 78.8 meters per second, probably have that and more. The question is whether we'll have connection over our burn point. Yep, South Africa, probably will retain that connection through the burn point. Okay, now. Retro burning. Ah, parachute deployment. I forgot about that. Will we be able to communicate in order to deploy parachutes? That's an old problem. I haven't had that problem in a while. Really, what we need is a satellite network, eventually. I don't know, uh, does Remote Tech do, do a parachute deployment? I don't even know. Hmm. Oh, we've lost connection. Okay, well, we'll see where we get connection back and retroburn further if necessary. Probably over Australia we'll get connection back. No, oh, there's a station right there. Okay, we've got connection. Okay, 60 kilometers, we fine. Okay, well, uh, good. We've got uh, Chandra 1 helping us out here. So we've got some communication to work with. I probably want to keep the... well, that's the problem. We can't really communicate with the Chandra 1. Well, I don't know. If it get, gets low enough, we could continue to communicate with it once we retract the, the Commutron 16s. We'll see. Actually, I'm probably just going to let the Commutron 16s get destroyed. I'll let them keep communication as long as they can. No, oh, we've already got some re-entry effects. Temperature is still like negative 80. We can communicate directly to... Uh, it looks like we're a little bit ahead of the game. We're communicating with Vandenberg. It's a little bit... Uh, closer to land than I'd like. So we'll be flying over Mexico soon. The Commutron 16s are bound to fly off soon. What's the density of the atmosphere? Well, nothing right now. You wouldn't think it with all the flame effects. But we're not getting very hot. Well, uh, probably a barometer re reading is doable here now. Yeah, not great. We'll just keep that. 
not even using RCS to hold attitude. It's just quite uh, quite smooth so far. Oh, we're starting to use some of our blade of shielding finally. So what's the temperature here? Ah, wow, look at that, 650, 650 ish. That's protected. Let's see. I want the RCS port uh, negative 27. Okay, good, good. And very importantly, the probe core, which uh, sort of could get some heat around. Oh, staging just made a little fuss there. Oh, oh, uh, those were the commutatrons. Now we have no connection. Ah, uh, well, saw this coming, but I was hoping it take a little bit longer. Oh, so we got a shoot deployment. Let's say, look, I'm not gonna pop the parachute at 53 kilometers. Come on. I thought it was gonna start giving me that message at 25 or something. Shoot deployment unsafe. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can't even deploy the shoes right now. That's the one in Texas that SpaceX wants to use. So what I need is a full coverage, low altitude satellite network. This thing's got a range of a thousand kilometers. So I need some satellites that are pretty, pretty close to Earth that can uh, handle this. Or I need some antennae that are not going to snap off. Let's take a look into those two possibilities. We've, we've got some science. Um, not a whole lot of cash, but we've got some science. Well, in principle, this would have worked if I could deploy parachutes. Note though, uh, no worry about parachute deployment here, where I would actually want to deploy parachutes. There is a teeny tiny possibility that the goo container or a thermometer or something could survive. Wouldn't bet on it. I guess I could action group the parachutes and then I think... I don't know, I, I really... Yeah, yeah, okay. Need to learn how to use that. Oop. Oh, okay. Well, the probe core survived. All the science dis decided to get destroyed. That's hilarious. Okay, well, we'll recover this. And that's where the game crashed. Um, let me just check. Did it seem like we had a lot more funds than we used to? Okay, it didn't recover that. Okay, let's uh, recover... Wow, that's a lot of stuff going on. Recover that, yeah. Oh, we got uh, 138 funds. Not too far from the KSC, yeah. <laughs> 2,500 kilometers. Uh, 10 science earned. Recover your vessel, return from orbit. Okay, so we got some science out of it, great. Uh, not exactly the way I wanted to do it, but that, that's fine. But, hold on a sec. I thought we had less cash than this. Hmm. Anyway, well, I'm not complaining or anything, but uh, did, did we fulfill a contract or something? Oh, oh, we fulfilled a contract. Okay. Uh, archives. What do we do? Orbit and safe return of a what? Hey, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't bring back a, okay, this is, this is a problem. So it thinks that I actually sent a Kerbal up and brought the Kerbal back because this contract assumes, I guess, there wasn't even a crude capsule. It assumes that the Explore Probe is a crude capsule. Okay, so something went wrong here. So that's why I got all the funds, because it assumed this was complete when it's not. That's not good, because now it's going to give me contracts, which assume, see, we've got the rescue, well, we've got the rescue Kerbal one before, so that's, I guess, that doesn't matter. But now we're getting, we're going to be getting some serious contracts, because it thinks we've done this one. Okay, so that, that's the issue. 
All right. Um, that's not good. Well, anyway, I'll I'll just assume that uh, eighty-four thousand, eighty-five thousand funds is zero for me. I I'm I'm not gonna get that low anyway. So yeah. All right. So the next thing we need to do is clearly to put a satellite constellation into orbit. And I think that's the work of another episode. So uh, I, this was just getting my feet wet in the new version of RP0.24. You see that a lot of changes have been made. We don't have access to the same uh, procedural SRBs. We have different engines entirely now. Uh, so yep, yeah, yep, yeah, uh, just getting my feet wet. And I'll have to think about what to do uh, with the satellites. Probably going to use the same launcher. I think if we make the satellites really, really tiny, maybe use the well we'll have to see I mean the, the Explorer probe core is pretty tiny as it is what we really need is uh, also dishes that aren't gonna snap when they get into the atmosphere this one won't but it's only got the same range as the Explorer core of course adding an extra one in would help but these two both snap under high dynamic pressure. Let's let's deploy some science and see if we can get better in tonight. Procedural liquid tank cone. I haven't seen that one before. Well, that entry purchase is zero, so I might as well pick it up. Let me get the the entry purchase zero ones. Well, X-ray detector might have a different kind of scientific experiment, right? Yeah, let's research that. Extendable RCS boon. Probably boom. Okay, well, uh, no indication of communications in the levels that we've unlocked already. Okay, nope, snaps under high dynamic pressure. So that doesn't work either. So basically, uh, all our antennae snap. So, yeah. So I'm gonna want that satellite network. Alright, so that's the project for the next episode. With that, uh, I'll say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.